All right, so I'm out flying our custom high-resolution mapping drone today. I don't have the camera in it, but it hasn't flown in maybe a year, so I just wanted to check it out. I made a bunch of updates to our ground station software, and I really like to see how those look with this airplane, which should have full support for sending all the different data elements uh, that, uh, that are supported by the ground station. Um, so maybe I'll show that to you a little later. And uh, yeah, it's a hopefully a nice day, um, nice enough. It's a little overcast and the wind's out of the north, but should be plenty decent for flying. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, check out the airplane, check out the ground station, and if this all works out well, then I have a bunch of new updates to roll onto the, the flight controller. Um, to make it even more Python, which uh, I think is a thing that uh, a lot of other people don't. But that's okay. It works great. And uh, people run what they're happy with and what they're comfortable with and what they understand. And for me, that's our in-house system uh, developed at the University of Minnesota. All right. Um, hopefully uh, we'll get a successful launch and some successful flying and a nice auto land today. Okay, hopefully we're recording with the new Mobius camera. This will be the first flight with it. Um, fingers crossed, everything goes good. This plane hasn't flown, God, I can't remember even. I think it's been a year, about. Uh, so this is just a checkout flight to make sure everything still works. And then if it does, um, I have a bunch of software upgrades to the flight computer to, to roll into here so we can move forward with some other, other projects. So uh, that's what we're up to today. It is a little breezier than the weather forecast predicted, so it could be a little uh, sporty up there. Um, probably get bounced around a fair bit, but uh, so be it. This plane has been uh, aloft in a lot of uh, windier conditions, so uh, with more payload. So hopefully everything is good. We're going to try the auto launch. Hopefully fly um, some circle holds, maybe a survey mission, you know, a fake survey mission without really a survey camera on board, and then try an auto land. So um, that is the plan, and uh, fingers crossed. Find the wind. Ready and go. Everything worked great except my communication link. Um, I didn't bring the right radio modem for the ground station side, um, which, which is dumb. And uh, normally it doesn't matter because they all share the same, same thing. But I've been working with some Ardu Pilot and PX4 stuff, which does some different things with the radio modem setup. And so that messed me up. Um, I dug an old radio modem out of my bag as sort of a backup, and that connected and worked, but it uh, it does terrible, terrible reception and transmission. Something's wrong with it. So once I get up in the air, it really start, stopped talking, and so now we're in our lost link protocol, which is just come home and circle. And so we are just home, circling home. Um, so... I didn't uh, intend to test our lost link protocol um, because I know it works, but we're testing it today, I guess, instead of some of the other things we were hoping to test, which means I'm not going to be able to set up, send up the auto land configuration um, to and the auto land command from the ground station. Um, so that's a little bit of a bummer. So I'm going to have to land manually, which means my hands will be a little full and I won't video it. But it's just cruising around. It could do.
do this for an hour, literally. We have enough battery. Okay. Uh, at some point I'll get bored with this. Um, I am receiving ground station data. I mean, sorry, I'm receiving telemetry data. So I'm seeing what's going on. I'm just not able to get messages back to the airplane. And the airplane said, geez, I haven't heard anything for 60 seconds or whatever the timeout is. And, it's, and uh, so it doesn't know that the ground station is still hearing it. But uh, so it just dutifully came home. So let's see if I can show you the ground station here. Um, that might be a little hard to, just, to see in the sunlight. But you can see we're kind of getting intermittent packets through, so some of the different displays are a little jerky. But um, we're showing, like in the upper right-hand corner, those are the little slidey scale um, instruments that I wanted to see how they worked. Um, and it made actually three instruments, and those should be like live and updating, but they are being a little... This is a bummer. This is how things go a lot of times, though, when you don't fly them for a year. You forget important things like which radio modem to bring out, and then when you try to cobble something together, it's not always perfect. So, I think what I'm going to do is probably just uh, call it good enough for today and then maybe I can come out tomorrow and maybe the weather will be a little nicer.